Well, hello guys. And girls. My name is Little Pain, Ophelia Pain, and I've asked to help you with Wednesday's popcorn lecture, to ensure you are preparing to win the game. To start, see the background, these are the topics or subjects that will be used for the game. I am sure you are reading your book, as you will need to, in effort to understand these listed topics. You'll notice, it looks like the TV game show, called Jeopardy. In comparisons, you will notice at the top of the game board, we start off at the $100 level, and as the game progresses, the dollar amount increases. The money, well, really represents points, as I was disappointed about this. To win this game, your team must have the most points. The team that wins, well, they get 20 points for each participating member. The best part, all participating members, don't have to take the quiz on Monday. Now, back to how we play. Each team number will be drawn from a hat until each team is picked. Each team will start at the top of the game board. We will not be able to move to the next level until all of the first level game pieces are exposed. True and false questions are used for both level 1 and 2. However, once you enter into the third level, the game begins to become challenging, with multiple choices. Once you get to the last level, you will be faced with a fill-in type question. You're wasting our time, Earth Creature. Whatever, Goofy. Moving on. In comparisons to Jeopardy, if you provide the wrong answer, to any particular question, the amount of those points will be deducted from many points you have, or have not. Now, here is a trick for you to remember, if you are not sure of the answer, you have the opportunity to pass the question on to another team. We normally passed it to a team that might be ahead of our team in points, in hope to take them down, while advancing our own position. The question that your team passed on, well, must be answered by the selected team in 30 seconds. If they are unable to answer, the amount of those points for that question will be deducted from that selected team, and Professor Crane will dismiss the question from the game board. I am sure, you are starting to realize that strategy plays an important role to ensure your team's success. Therefore, the game requires you to plan how your team will deploy your members and utilize their resources as you will only get 10 seconds to read the question before it disappears, and only 30 seconds to answer before you are charged with the points. I would suggest before the game, you select members to write down both the question, and available answers, while a one member reads the question aloud to the class. I would also suggest, that each member develop their expertise relevant to the topics. In other words, have each member of your team to be accountable for each game topic or subject from the book. One thing to remember, no computers, cell phones, books, or even notes will be allowed during the game. Okay, I think I have covered everything you need to know, or what I would consider, to be important for you to win. I wish you all the very best. Good luck and have fun.